Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Etheric777, today back with another little narrated FPV flight video and that is actually video number four and you see already a big difference from my last video to this video. During my last video, you know, the sun was shining, I was glad about the weather and all was very nice. I was here in a t-shirt and today, just one week later, I have already a big jacket on. Uh, I'm surrounded by animals and uh, it's quite fresh at this time and I have to say after my last video you know uh, just one day after it just started to rain and to rain and to rain and it became very cold and uh, you know I thought the season would be over even right now it should rain because we had a very very bad provision for this week and so I was already very sad but a moment ago I came out from work and it stopped to rain, it's still cloudy and the sun is already going down uh, but it looks like I have some minutes to do a little FPV flight video because I have already, uh, already or always everything in the car that I just can catch the moment when we have a good one and uh, yeah I got some requests from you guys uh, on my YouTube channel and I wanted to thank you very much for that because you let me know that uh, you like these videos a lot and I love to do them and so uh, I think we should take this moment and have another flight and that was a very long intro and the Sun is going down so uh, we just have to start as soon as possible and today I'm at different location and it can be that this video will be very boring it can be that it will become very cool I don't know we will just check that out in a moment uh, because I'm at a different location so there I am sitting in front of my camcorder and today I am at a very very new location so I have to fly slowly and watch out first of all because it uh, it's very windy from time to time and also because it's very wet where I am right now because I am near to the dam ladies and gentlemen there it is that is what I was talking about during my last video and I tried to go there today but it's not possible, it's all closed. So what I have to do is I find, I need to find a way to have, um, to fly a bit more far away that I should walk here, maybe going down there. You see that there is a hotel or something that I could park there and then walk across or along the lake until I'm there and then I could check it out. Uh, today I have even some problems with the signal and because of the sun is going down, I have problems uh, with the light situation so uh, I will try to go not too far away but uh, yeah just came here to check out the location I think it will be possible if I have a spotter or somebody who will help me then we could walk this way you see where I sit walk here around the hotel and then take a look if we can go as near as possible uh, however um, what you see instead is that I fly in a location where everybody hates to fly and that is over water and uh, yeah that's quite hateful because uh, you know if you have a, mo a model by yourself you know how much you spend uh, of time and of money to get this uh, to work again an animal or something near to me <laughs> And uh, you know, if you fall down there, probably it's all gone. And so uh, I tell you, I sit here and uh, my hands are shaking a little bit. And yeah, my ears also because of this animal. Now I think I got it. Okay, so uh, that's actual, actually the situation. And I have to watch out. I don't know how my copter reacts. Uh, there is something that looked very near when I watched uh, and I thought to discover this, but I tell you the truth, uh, now that I fly with the, the, the video goggles, this looks so far away that I fear. <laughs> looks like I'm a sissy today, but I will not risk it to go there. Uh, yeah, let's just take this video and uh, check out the location and the hotel to see what we can do the next time. I have to watch out that I don't go out of sight because uh, I don't know I have more problems than usually with the antenna today so yeah that's uh, the way that I could walk then you see that the 
across the lake and then maybe starting from here then I'm near enough and I would need a spotter for that in the case that I lose the control that he could bring me back or something. The problem is I don't have a spotter who actually could fly with my copter. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I have to teach it to my wife, you know. Uh, I guess I will not do this uh, this season, but the next season or when I have uh, an FPV, uh, sorry, um, a ready-to-home system with a GPS and a fail-safe because I actually fly in manual mode uh, or, well, not totally manual mode, but uh, in a way that uh, I have no possibility to recover my... Uh, Copter as soon as I lose the signal or something it just will fly to the ground and there is no fail safe and no nothing so I have always to watch out for that okay uh, I think we still have a bit of time so I would like to go down there and take a look what that yellow thing is but I have to watch out the wind is pressing so as soon as I turn around uh, I start to fall down because uh, to hold uh, to hold this copter on a uh, altitude, you know, I have to do that all in a manual way, and that means uh, when there is wind from the front, I have to press against it, and when it comes from the from the back side, I have to do the same thing. And when the wind comes from one direction and I turn around, then uh, then it's like falling. Uh, then you shoot to the ground or you shoot up into the sky, and uh, yeah, that's not so easy. And as I told, I wanted to see what that yellow thing is to discover at least something new. But I have no idea. Hmm. I tell you something. To don't risk too much. Because I don't know how I will react on the signal when I go down there. I will go, go away a little bit from the water. And to, I have to say uh, that works better than I expected. I thought I would lose signal. That's a boat when I'm behind the tree, but uh, so far it works. Very good. Okay, now I lose it. There I lose it. That's because I need another antenna. I, s I, I still have uh, the SPV and clover leaf, but I would need one helix. And, uh, you know, I have everything in a legal way. I just have 25 millibots and all that, so... Uh, really need to check the things out. However, uh, we have a good view of this hotel. It's very nice. Maybe I could start from there, from the top or something, you know. <laughs> Getting a room there for one afternoon just to have an FPV flight out of the window. Uh, who knows, you know, maybe in the next season. And uh, I think my battery will be over very soon, so I just go Slowly down. Yeah, there you see it. That's uh, when you know your copter very well. Well, you know, I did a lot of training. You saw that on my channel during this season, my first season as FPV pilot. Or, well, as, uh, as pilot in general, probably. Okay, I go down here slowly. Okay. Slowly. That's too fast. Okay, okay, okay. I have always problems when I fly towards me because uh, then I lose the video signal. That means uh, in the video goggles I don't see something for a moment. And when you hear this uh, machine flying towards you and you don't see it, uh, <laughs> then this can become quite a quite hard situation because first of all you start to fear and then you have to watch out that you don't have it in the face. Okay, uh, sorry. Had to uh, land that very fast because I lose uh, the concentration. Uh, yeah, I have there a visitor back then. I think he was listening to me, watching me very strange because I do this in English and I'm in Italy. Uh, however, I thank you very much that you watched this video. And I hope the next time it will work out better and more far. And uh, I thank you very much. Come back soon and bye-bye.